What's up dudes, dudettes, Chris from Mobtown Fishing here, and we are out on some water. Two little ponds, there's another one over here, so I guess it's three. And if y'all follow the uh, Instagram page, you'll see I caught some bass out of here. They're just pulling off beds now here. I don't know why they're doing it so late. It's just, I guess this is, you know, this is a runoff to a little washing place up here. And, uh, pretty good sized bass in here there's been record of two 10 pounders and a couple seven pounders coming out of here they've been released back so you know they seem to be biting a uh, wacky rig just senko worms so i got one of those on the daiwa and man i'll show y'all when we get over there in just a second there's a big old eagle right there you can see him but there's a bluegill over here let me tell you they're like the size of the, the body is the size of the inside of that hat and man I was like, what better time to break out the old fly rod? So we're going to go fly fishing for some bluegill, have some fun. And I got the wife down there. So we're going to catch some slabs, dude. All right, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. These bluegills are bedding up right here. They are freaking huge. And I don't see any of them today. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there he is. Put on a sinking bait, little nymph, and I'm dragging it through these little bluegill holes. Got one. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, yeah. Slab, baby. Look at this thing, man. What did I tell y'all? What did I freaking tell y'all? Babe, you gotta come see this thing. It's freaking huge. Just a freaking slab, man. I'm gonna put my thumb in his mouth. That's how big he is. Just look at that thing. That's got to be some kind of hybrid because these things are massive. I want to show my wife right now. I doubt she's ever seen a bluegill this big. Yeah. First cast. Oh my God, that is a big guy. <laughs> I'm talking massive. Ain't no bass eating these things. Well, if they are, the bass is huge. Just a massive fish. He'll shoot back to his bed. It ain't but about. There he goes. Oh yeah. And right back. Oop. Big one. Lucky us. We lost 4K recording. Go. Oh. But that doesn't matter. We like recording 4K. I also would like to catch a lot more of these bluegill, but. Seeming to be very difficult. They're very, 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 very finicky. Which is weird for a bluegill. But also, I don't think they're safe to eat because they are that big. Y'all saw the first one. Dang, I finally scared that one. He's a big one too. Got him. God. Dang, man. Y'all see this joker? Look at that, y'all. Hell yeah. Just look at that. That's my hand next to this thing. I'm talking, they're freaking huge. Just open up. Look at that. They're massive bluegill. All right. Let's go 
go catch another one. Well, some friend of ours, is, uh, they peeled a bunch of tail off crawfish last night and shrimp. And we're going to go over there. They're going to have some kind of Cajun pasta. And uh, we're going to pack it up for right now. We'll be back in a couple hours. We're going to come back and tear it up some ass. i got to realign her pole because the fluorocarbon that I put on there is cheap and crappy. So we got to fix that. But uh, we'll be back. All right, we ate dinner. We got a whole baby. And the Barnetts. <laughs> we're going to go catch some fish. I think I'm just sentimental to that one. I've had that. Got him. Yep. <laughs> uh, he came off. Well, my GoPro died right then, and I didn't bring the charging cable back home now. But uh, literally like 45 seconds after my GoPro died, I hooked up to a little one pounder if that and uh caught him and then uh i quit throwing the wacky worm about 10 minutes after that and uh picked up a white frog started running it down a bank on that color line and uh they were tearing that thing up i got so many blow-ups only caught two though um i got little selfies and everything with them with uh the rest of the friends and family so i'll throw those at the end of the video so you're gonna enjoy them see them little bass uh Y'all stick around next day or so, it's Friday right now. Uh, I'm gonna make another video, I'm gonna get out on the boat and really show y'all some of the, the specific little tips and tricks and stuff that I do to specifically my worms and how I work my frog. Because that's pretty much all I do is a Senko, ribbon tail, trick worm. Those are like my big three. And then a frog from a pad crasher this little white and chartreuse belly or a solid white espro frog i'm going to show you all exactly what i do out in the water i'll have chest mount full body mount everything with the cameras and i really dial it in so y'all can y'all can kind of see what i do and how i catch the fish that i catch so y'all stick around and uh this was a cool little video that i made just to get out and throw the fly rod around it's always fun to fly fish even if you aren't you know going for trout or anything like that i like to pull the fly rod out and Give me some big old bluegill. Oh yeah, the reason I said I wouldn't eat those things is that little pond that we were fishing was um, it was a runoff to like a wash wash place where you wash big old trucks. So that's why I wouldn't eat those things. There's probably a lot of chemicals and shit in the water. That's why it makes those fish so freakishly large. And uh, I just wanna throw that in there. I know it would come up in the comments somewhere. So anyways, y'all let me know. You know, anything else y'all wanna see in the videos, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep fishing.